Welcome to another video by DJ Spear C. We have a slash 4x4. What I want to show you guys is how to remove the knuckle retainer. Basically what holds uh, the steering to be able to turn. First thing is we're going to remove our wheel. Put that aside. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to remove. We don't need to remove the uh, physical X on it. If you want to, grab a flat screwdriver, put it in the in the uh, space in between the, the knuckle itself and just turn, you'll hear it pop. But in this case here, we don't need to. What we'll need to do is remove this screw here. There's one underneath. Then we'll need to remove this one and there's another one on the side here, right here. We're gonna start for removing our knuckle screws. Flip the machine on its side, remove the bottom one. Now basically this, take your top, bring it towards the back, and you'll be able to put the, pull it out, and just put it aside. Nothing will be damaged here. Now we're gonna remove this guy here. If I remember correctly, it is a 2.5. Now this guy's not fully threaded. A lot easier when you have a pair of pliers. I just don't have one close to me right now. I'm just gonna use my finger to push on it. Okay, and if you see it, it's not fully threaded. Ew. She's going to want to focus here. There we go. You see this, the thread parts are right here and this is just basically a pin. Now, once you do that, the uh, knuckle carrier, it's loose in your hands. Now it'll have a two mil right here to remove. Now I call it a knuckle carrier or I just, for some reason right now, I forgot the name of it. Remove the other screw, you pop it out, toss the broken one, grab your new one. They do make them in aluminum. They do make them in RPM and Traxxas makes them too. Uh, you could decide these guys here and the physical knuckle, steering knuckle, Usually I do go aluminum with these guys. Simple reason, it's a part that it's a little bit harder to break. You do break them, uh, but they'll take more in abuse. And when they're aluminum or RPM, I know RPM in the States are warranted for life. Now here in Canada, I heard stories that RPM don't want to warranty them. Now, if you were able to get one warrantied through RPM in Canada, please let me know in the comments. Now, pop the knuckle back in. You'll see part of the knuckle and gets inserted in the A-arm. And then just push your pin back in. And let's screw it back. And this one, you don't need to tighten galore. Now we're gonna grab our knuckle. The bottom one, we're gonna insert first in the, slot, in the hole, and then you'll be able to pop in your front part. While we have the vehicle on its side, 
to grab a screw and drop it at the same time. There we go. Now this guy again, you don't want it to tighten it to the point that you can't tighten it anymore. The way the screw is made, let's see if it's just gonna focus here. There you go. You see a part that has some uh, threads on and the other one doesn't. It's kind of a sleeve spacer. There's a couple of names people call it. Yep. Grab our 2.5. And there we go. Whoop. And now you're able to put your wheel back on. Now, if you notice, I did not remove the X, nothing. I did not remove the steering links because I try always to remove less parts possible on the vehicle. That way I don't lose anything and I don't create myself some more work here. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the like button. I do appreciate it and it does help. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.